I just intend on leading a really normal life. Which I'd like to go to uni. You know, I'd like a car. I'd like to own a home. I'd like a husband. I'd like children. I realised I was different when, probably when I was about five. Um, really, I, I, I can't really put put an age on it because of always being like this. Yeah. If, if you. You know what I mean? But I sort of realised I was different probably when I was about five. Um, all my baby photos and, you know, I'm dressed up in my mum's clothes and stuff like that. But, yeah, probably about five when I realised, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm different from all the other kids. I didn't think I was a girl, I didn't think I was a boy, but I knew that there was something different. Uh, yeah, I decided probably when I was about 12, uh, I was really young, um, I was a bit rebellious and... It, it was more important to me than family to, 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 you know, to be all was. So just basically laid the cards on the table. You know, it wasn't a big shock. I, I, you know, everyone sort of knew when I said, you know, this is me. This is how I'm going to be. Um, you know, I'm going to be a woman. Um, I can't really say that there was a specific thing. I think it's, um, I think it's more like, it's like your sexuality. You, you, you just know it's... No. It's not an um. It, it's it's not so much how you feel. It it's just who you are. Mm -hmm. So I say sexuality because that just comes to, you, you know to you naturally. You know whether you're heterosexual or whether you're gay. Uh, and I, I just I just knew that I wasn't a boy. Yeah. I just knew that I was a girl, and 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 that was it. You know I was just a bit different and. And, and, that, and that was it really. Mm -hmm. So I can't, can't really answer that one because cause it's, it's not really how you feel, it's just more who you um, are. I can't really say anyone's relationship really changed with me somewhat. Uh, obviously, you know, it, it, it does take a lot of getting used to. Um, I don't speak to my dad um, because, because of it really. Um, but I, I've, I've never, I'm not seeking anyone's approval. On the most part, I get really positive feedback. Um, you, you know, most people are all for it and think I'm really brave. And uh, I do, obviously, you do get some small minded people who do, you know, and I do get ne negative comments. Um, from what I found, if I'm honest with you, in the past, it's the people that, it's the people that they give you negative comments. That um, if I'm honest with you, they're quite attractive to you. School was okay. People are often quite surprised when I tell them that I had a really, I had an okay time at school. Mm -hmm. um, never really been a victim. I'm, I'm not a timid person. So if you know, if someone says something to me, I'm, I'm game to mm -hmm. say something back. Um, and then I left school when I was fourteen and pursued hairdressing. Which is like you know, it's yeah. a predominantly female um, environment. So and, and you know, nine times out of ten girls are you know all for it and it's yeah. all fun and it's laughing. So yeah, an average day, I start off. I pop two little tablets, make myself feel better. My antidepressants due to being transgender. Um, I have a wash, I have a shave, I put the makeup on, depending on how much makeup and I feel I need that day. Um, depending on how dark my shadow looks. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's an average day really. Yeah. Wake up, shave, make up, um, look at myself, suppose I scrutinise myself in front of the mirror for about 40 minutes, keep checking things, make sure everything's right, yeah. and then I'm good to go then. Yeah, I do intend, uh, intend to have the full sex change. Um, I'm currently on the waiting list. Um, I've got an appointment in Newcastle after Christmas. Um, I have been on female hormones before, but came off them um, due to personal reasons. And yeah, I, I, I do intend on getting the full sex change. Um, when the time's right for me, though, um, it's it, it's really daunting. It's, it's a big operation. Um, I, I, I will get it done, but when the time suits me. Started the process at the age of 13. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really, really long process. It's not as simple as you go to the doctors and say, I want to be a girl. Um, you'd have to go to numerous counsellors and psychiatrists. Um, 
you know, you have to get loads of blood checks and your bone density checked and, you, you know, to make sure that I'm healthy to go ahead with everything. And also, to, you know, just to make sure that, you know, I haven't got mental health issues or, or anything like that, you know, this is what I want. Because um, it, it's it, it's irreversible, you know, once you've had it done, you've had it done. Once you're on hormones, you know, you don't produce sperm or anything, so I'd never be able to father a child. Um, and then, and then that's what I intend on doing now. Um, but yeah, I, I do intend on getting it done when the time is ready for me. Uh, I'd like to add just that we're, we are normal people, and I think um, lots of people perceive transgender people, whether it's male or female, as being quite seedy. And you know, like, I, I don't know, like, what all these kinky weird people, but, yeah. but, but you know, well, I'm not, I mean, I'm sure there's a few out there, yeah. but you, we are really just normal people that really just want to be accepted by society as normal people. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to think in about 15 years' time, you know, you, you will sort of be like a new sexuality, not so much gay or straight, because if you go with me, I, I you know, you, you're not a gay person, you look at me, you see a woman. So I would like to think in about 15 years' time, there will be a um, sort of like, Transsexuality yeah, yeah. for men that find trans women attractive because yeah. there's lots of them out there. Mm.